Hi, I'm Jeff Spaddle with Reed Instruments, and I'm very pleased to introduce to you the Reed R5005 True RMS Multimeter. This unit has a 50,000 count resolution, meaning it's extremely accurate. You could use it for research and development. Yet, it's IP67 rated, meaning it's ideal for field use. The unit covers capacitance, frequency, volts, millivolts, microamps, amps, AC, DC, you name it. It's everything you need in one unit. But the best part about this unit is its data log. It logs up to 10,000 events, up to 200 hours. Uh, give you a quick example of how easy it is to use. Let's say you're a manufacturer of high quality white noise machines, for example, and you want to find out some of the differences between the high and the low settings. So I have my white noise machine hooked up here. I've got the uh, Reed AC06 line splitter. It's a very inexpensive tool. If you ever buy a clamp meter, you should always throw one of these in. Uh, currently, I have the uh, R5005 hooked up with a CP09. This uh, converts a millivolt signal to a one amp reading, allowing you to go up to 200 amp reading. Let's see. Look this over. So I want to start logging. All I have to do is hit save. I scroll down to the record function, hit F1, and it said, and then I set my duration. As I said, it goes up to 200 hours. For this example, I'm simply going to set it, edit, scroll over to hours, and OK. One hour and one minute. Uh, then simply scroll down to your interval. As I said, I'll go up to 10,000 readings, so I can spread that out as far as I want. Uh, the default is one second. That's perfect for this example, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I simply hit start. At this point, I'm logging data. So as I said, uh, set on millivolt, it converts that over to an amperage reading. I'm going to turn this unit on. So on my low setting, it's currently reading 0 0.128. Basically, that's uh, 0 0.12 amps. Very low draw of this unit. I'm going to let it sit for a second. And the best things it has is it records events. So basically, did power drop? Did power raise? Did it turn off? So right now there's no events because everything's reading about the same. However, I turn it up to high, all of a sudden I'm drawing 0.374 amps and that record an event. It noticed that there was a difference in how much power was being drawn. So we'll let that around for just a second. And switch it back down to the low setting. Once again, it picked up an event. So, so far it's picked up two events. Me going from low to high and high to low. And that's perfect if you're doing any kind of research and development or say you're running a piece of equipment through its cycles and you just want to see what's going on. This unit will record each one of those. So I think that's enough recording. Let's turn that off and stop the recording. So we're done. Now I simply hit the trend button and I get a graphical display of what happened. As you see, I was recording on low, I turned it to high, I turned it back to low. It's that simple. This unit is fantastic. Uh, it doesn't come with the current transducer. I highly recommend you add that in. Uh, it does come with a standard set of leads though. It comes with a thermocouple adapter and this is a new one for me. It's rechargeable and it comes with a recharge unit that simply plugs right in to the porch. Put it on the off setting. Just plug it in and there you go. The unit starts charging. That is included with the unit. The unit's right at $300. As I said, it's IP67 rated. It's got a great rubberized exterior. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. If you have any questions, talk to your local distributor or check us out online at readinstruments.com.